blessings beautiful people i hope you guys are having a phenomenal day today is 30 for 30 prayer challenge where we're taking 30 minutes uh, for 30 days in prayer before the lord and on today i have three um devotional scriptures um that i'm going to get into but i, I just want to as we as we you know we're doing this prayer challenge um i'm i'm I know we're building a relationship with God, uh, a relationship, you know, um, and just growing in the knowledge of him and just spending time with him. But in relationships, um, when you're spending time with people, it's good to know who they are. You know, I have pe I have people in my life and, you know, I, I know their character and who they are and they're they're different. I have people who are generous. That's that's who they are. Um, they're kind. That's who they are. They're they're loving. That's who they are. You know, they're compassionate. Um, and I think it's even more beneficial to know who God is um, while when we're praying because it makes it more personal when you're talking to him, when you're praying to him because you have a confidence and a trust because I know who my God is. So on today, I just want to kind of go through uh, one of the things that God, who God is. God is immutable, which means he cannot change. He is forever the same. So our devotional scripture, the first devotional scripture comes from Numbers 23 and 19, which reads, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he spoken and will not do it? Or has he spoken and will not make it good? Next um, devotional scripture comes from Malachi 3 and 6, which reads, For I am the Lord. I do not change. Therefore, you. O sons of Jacob are not consumed. And the last devotional text comes from Hebrews 13 and 8, which reads, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So because we know that God is the same, he doesn't change, um, we can trust and take pride in. To trust something means you're confident in. We can take trust in in God and knowing that he don't change that if he did it before he'll do it again so if he delivered you out of any situation he's going to do it again now the method in which he delivers you may be different but it doesn't mean that God has changed when I think of the children of Israel God delivered them all the time he delivered them from the hand of Pharaoh he delivered them from the 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 the, the um the, the Red Sea he delivered them over and over again and his method changed, but the end result was they were delivered. If we are praying before God and we're going through a situation, we can trust that God, if he brought us out before, he'll bring us out again because he cannot change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, and he doesn't change. So knowing that we can depend on God, that means God is dependable. I know we, we live in a world where it, it seems to be cool to say, man, I don't trust nobody. I don't trust nobody but myself. Like I just, it, you got to find your trust, your confidence in something and someone, and it should be God almighty. You should be able to trust and rely on God because he don't change. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And for that very reason, you can depend on him. You can trust on him. Uh, you can trust in him and know that he'll never change on you. Be blessed, people. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.